so much so many people today so nowadays i think uh, only if the author brings his own crowd people are ready to spend the sunday fruitfully okay welcome welcome to the all the new audience okay new children also have joined akshaya has joined no sri hari where is akshaya akshaya hi akshaya you are in singapore okay unmute and talk later okay right we'll start the story right children i'll tell you one um, what to say once not a sentence a phrase i will tell you tell me hearing that what do you think faith never fails you heard about that have you heard about that children can you hear me faith never fails what is the meaning of that what is faith everybody unmute and talk vedanti today your mic is okay no you can talk yes yeah what is faith why so much you are thinking sudiksha something coming from the top <laughs> what is what is faith nadave exam varukku varra matengida vedanti what is faith ma oh my god sri hari save me what is faith f a i t h sri vidya dey ella english medium thana padikireenga but you know what is faith but i know what is faith what is i know what is f a t e but i don't know what is f a i t h ammadi matha english medium world la we have to change uncle what is faith uncle durga das sir you only have to tell what is faith i will tell in one word belief belief what is belief children you know what is belief do you believe in parents parents will give you think good things only yes yeah do you believe uh, in parents or no believing others no believing others okay trust belief do you do you trust your friends yeah yes. so tomorrow you have school so do you believe your parents are going to wake you up pack your tiffin box make you ready and take you to school <laughs> do you believe hi adarva welcome yes, yes. sir yeah yes okay so yes okay that belief that trust is faith right today's story faith never fails what is the story name faith never fails okay we'll we'll talk about this after the story you all must talk tell your opinions after hearing the story okay have have your children been to the temple do you go yes. to the temple yes for what you go to the temple for what to pray the god to pray, pray to god okay what is your prayers what do you pray can you is it secret <laughs> is it secret what do you pray is only between you and god okay you pray something no yes. will that happen will god make it happen to you yes no he doesn't he, he doesn't yes. sometimes yes sometimes no correct yes sometimes sometimes yes sometimes no god i should try get 100 out of 100 in mathematics god doesn't help sometimes only if you write something he will put marks no isn't it so but do you do you stop going to temple you will always you always believe no god will save us god will give us good things yes no sudiksha so like that here also that's this story so have you been to the before going to the temple have you seen on the sides of the road there are lot of flower sellers yeah correct no yes 
they'll sell flowers, they'll sell garlands, yes? So like that, in one temple, there was a shop. The shop owner's name was Dandabani. What was his name? Dandabani. Dandabani. It's a Tamil name. So Dandabani uncle had a flower shop. You know Dandabani uncle was a farmer. You know who is a farmer? Children? Yes. Who is a yes. farmer? Vivasai. Vivasai. Yeah. What they will do? What is the they, job? Uh, the question. They, they will uh, grow them. crops. Uh, mm. Crops. Mm. Crops like uh, wheat, rice, millets. Mm. Okay. Super. So they, they grow they crops. Mostly, yeah. Mostly cultivate land. Cultivate land. They grow crops. So we need food no, to survive. So the most important profession in the world, the farmers, Dandapani uncle was a farmer. And you know, this farming is always dependent on the nature. If it doesn't rain, the crops will fail. There is no good harvest, correct? So rain is important, the season is important and so many climatic changes also affect the farming. So like that, he was a very good farmer, but over a period of time, no, no rains, weather change, climate conditions are very bad for the crops and some insects also sometimes attack, like we get corona, virus attack and all fever, cold the crops also get some diseases. Over a period of time, he was unable to do farming. Farming was not at all giving enough money for taking care of his family. So he was thinking about, I have to change my profession. I have to look for a new job because I have a family, my wife, my parents, my brothers and sisters, my children, everybody, I have to earn and take care of them. So he was thinking for a while and decided he loves next to his farming, no? He used to love flowers. You know what is flowers, no? What is flowers? Can you name some flowers? Rojapu. Mm, hmm, Rojapu, yeah. Marigold, sunflower, sunflower, lavender, yeah. rose. Yes. Okay. Rose. So many flowers. So yes. always going to the temple, we will buy some flowers, garland and go and put it to God to pray. So like that, uncle was like, I like flowers very much and I know how to tie the flowers and I can make, a, make nice garlands and sell it. So now I will go and put a shop near the temple and I will sell flowers to the devotees. So that is what he started doing. And one sunny day, one day, you know, it was very bright sun was there. And one small child, this Dandabani uncle is sitting at the shop and waiting for the customers to come. One small girl, no, like you children, like you Vedanti, Sudhiksha, Akshaya, Sri Vidya, like so many ch children are here, no, like you children, one small little girl, she came with a school bag on her back. Okay, so she looked like she was like sweating so much, looked like she was so tired and upset and crying before she came to that shop because she was sweating so much she was in some kind of a panic she came like <laughs> uncle 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 she called to dandabani uncle and she called him and told because she's gasping no for breath she was something no she she must have come running in panic and all she was like showing a particular garland <laughs> uncle 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 like that she told she pointed her fingers towards a garland and dandapani uncle understood looks like this child wants to go to the temple she wants to buy a garland and so uncle said baby 
Papa, you want this garland? You want to go to the temple? Okay, it is 20 rupees. Do you have 20 rupees money? Is anybody coming with you? Your father, mother, anybody coming with you? He asked. But the girl was not answering any of his questions. And he, she just took out some money from her bag. And she was counting and she showed to the Dandabani uncle. I, how much she had, you know? Only 10 rupees she had. So she told in a very like crying and feeble low voice, she said, because how much is the garland, children? 20 rupees. 20 rupees. 20 rupees. How much money she has? 10 rupees. 10 rupees. 10 rupees. Will 10 rupees. it be enough to buy the garland? It's not. So she was like, she thought it will be 10 rupees. No, because always she would have come with her parents. They would have bought the flowers and garland. She did not know. But she had only 10 rupees in her hand. So she slowly said, uh, I have only 10 rupees. Okay, but looking at the child, uncle no, Dandapani uncle no. Okay, she doesn't have money, but she has got some big problem for which she is going to pray to the God. He understood the situation and said, okay, you have 10 rupees only. You don't have 20 rupees. Okay, he was asking. But the girl said, yes, uncle, don't you have a garland for 10 rupees because I have only 10. Can I get a small garland? Like that she asked. But uncle, he didn't have any smaller garland. He had only one size of garland, which is every garland cost was rupees 20. But uncle said, no problem, dear child. You can take this garland today. So you bring the balance 10 rupees whenever you have time. If you can come tomorrow, please come and give it to me or you can come some other time and give me money. So the girl gave 10 rupees to the uncle and she took the garland and again she ran into the temple. And she ran into the temple. She must have prayed there and she came back. Like when you go to the temple, children, you will say some slokas, no? Like Sri Hari and all, you know, Devaram, no? You sing Devaram. Children, you must be knowing some bhajans, some prayer songs, something, right? So like that, the child also, while coming back, she she was like inside, no, 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 something she was murmuring and she came back. But after coming back also, she never went straight to the house. She actually came to Dandapani uncle and thanked him a lot. Thank you so much, uncle. And she told him also why she was desperately wanted to buy the garland and go to the temple and pray. Children, what do you think? What must have gone wrong? Why she was in panic? What is your idea? No idea? Nothing? Adarva? Problem Because she was poor. She was? Because she was poor. She was? Because she was poor. Poor. Can you spell it, please? P O O R. Poor. Okay. She was poor. Okay. But while she was in a panic, no, every day she is poor. Why that particular day she was coming, running, upset, crying and all? Something must have gone wrong. Yeah. I think she got something in her school. Yeah, maybe something happened in her school. Okay. What else can it be? His, your, mm. his parents uh, might be scolded him. Yeah, his parents might have scolded her. Or maybe parents might have been sick also, no? When your parents fall sick, your mother falls down or your father gets sick, you will go to the temple and pray, no? In a yeah. fear. Yeah, you want them to get well soon, right? So, this girl was telling, no uncle, why I went to the temple to pray, no? With the garland. 
so my mother is in the hospital she is admitted in the hospital actually you know she is a teacher she works in small children are there no you know what is anganwadi school do you know children very small like your play school is there no so like that that kind of a school she is working but while working and she was walking somewhere and stepping down from the stairs she fell down got hurt very badly uncle and she is very serious in the hospital she has to undergo a major surgery the date of the surgery is not decided but i went and saw my mother she's doctors are telling she's very serious don't know she will come back alive or not my father also is working in a very very small job which is he is in a textile shop you know clothes store is there no they sell clothes ready made clothes sarees dress materials and all that no is working there because the doctor told us she is very serious and my next door auntie no she told me go to the temple and pray to god just buy a garland and put it to god and pray your mother will become all right and then my this money you know uncle what this 10 rupees what i have my father gives me daily for me to travel by the bus so today every day i go to school by bus 10 rupees is the ticket to go and come back but today uncle i did not use that money to go by bus i went by walk and i saved that money and that money i have brought it to give it and buy a garland uncle i thought really 10 rupees is enough to buy a garland but 20 rupees no tomorrow i will definitely come and give you money so that is what the children told so uncle is worried now okay ma you have to go back home no you will go by bus but today instead of going home you have come here but you need money no to go back home so how will you go back home as a elderly person he was worried how this child will go to her house but he said no 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 problem uncle my father's friend has like his our classmate is there no our friend's class father actually has an auto rickshaw so we normally they that uncle will pick us up so no problem i went to the hospital today and i have come here i will go home uncle i'll walk and go home uncle it's okay uncle she was telling but uncle dandabani uncle was like no no child it's already getting dark and he gave 5 rupees from his shop he took 5 rupees and gave it to her and told her please child go by bus and reach home safely so children now i have a question how much money the child gave to dandabani uncle 10 rupees how much yes 10 rupees how much was the price of the garland 20 how much that uncle has given back to the child 5 5 5 rupees how much money actually he took from the child 5 rupees 5 5 rupees super how much was the garland price 20 rupees, 20 rupees. so now this girl went back home so she came the next day also but again that day you know she brought she couldn't bring that whole money she brought only 15 rupees with her how much she brought the second day 15 and the child told uncle i have to give you this 15 rupees no yesterday 20 rupees was the garland price please keep this money uncle i will go to the temple and simply pray and come but looking at her and he asked how is your mother child what how is she doing is she okay the surgery happened and all that and the child was like no no uncle still she is in the hospital only and the uncle said no problem so i'll take only 5 rupees with me 
and today also uncle gave one new garland to her and asked her it's okay when you have money you can give it to me and you can go to the temple with the garland and pray so hesitatingly the child took that garland and she went to the temple and peacefully prayed and came back told uncle bye uncle thank you so much she went back home so like that another 3 4 days you know almost one week every day the child will come she will speak to uncle whatever money she has she will give so all those days she never travel by bus she always walked that long distance and went to the school and go to the hospital in the evening see her mother and again walking and coming back so she was saving all that bus money to give it to dandabani uncle but uncle never took more money for a 20 rupees garland she, he always took how much children 5 rupees 5 okay. rupees only he will take and the rest he will tell you keep the money please safely travel by bus but every day they will talk how is your mother doing is she okay now the surgery is done and all that so one day she told yes uncle she had a head injury no so they have removed i mean shaved off all the hair and they are making her ready for the surgery the next day she will say yes uncle doctors are telling the surgery has been done and the operation is over but so they have done the surgery no so they put lot of tubes inside her mouth in the nose in the mouth and here there and everywhere she is totally in that operation theater kind of a situation and full tubes running all over her body like that every day she will tell about the progress so with the child dandabani uncle also started praying for the mother the child's mother whose mother children the child's mother the child's mother has the uncle seen the mother no only he knew through the child that baby has become i mean the little girl has become friends with dandabani uncle so if your friend's mother is sick will you also feel sad or not yes yes like that it went on almost almost 15 days over so after 15 days you now the 15 days the child was regularly coming to see him and go to the temple by garland by giving 5 rupees after 15 days you know the girl stopped coming so uncle was waiting for the girl to come he wanted to know how is her mother doing but don't know for some reason the child did not come at all so whether the child comes or not now dandabani uncle he has become friends no with the child so he started praying to god okay the child is not coming don't know what is the reason and all that maybe she, she's poor no father is also working in a small textile shop so maybe she has to be with the mother to take care of her in the evenings so uncle started going to the temple with one garland every day okay he never stopped going and praying for the the child's mother okay like this many many days have gone so he really at least initially was getting 5 rupees now the girl is not coming no money he is getting because he is also poor no he has to sell those garlands with that money only he will take it home he'll buy some uh, grocery vegetables oil to the family but it's okay one garland no problem because he felt so sorry for the child's mother he always i mean every day he'll go on pray to god and like this one two months have gone how long how many months gone children two months two months gone okay so all this two months you know dandabani uncle never stopped praying to god to make that girl's mother well okay she has to get well and come back safely 
So he kept on praying every day, though he did not see the girl after 15 days. So after two months, one day it was raining. Nicely it was raining. After that, it started slowing down and drizzling. And he was sitting in the shop. Normally in rainy days, no, people will not, so many people will not come to the temple. No, the crowd also will be lesser. So like this, he was waiting. At least some people will come and buy some flowers so he can take some money to the family and buy some food for the family. And, uh, you know, people were very less that day. And in front of his house, I mean shop, no, one rickshaw, auto rickshaw came. Okay, auto rickshaw came and stopped in front of the shop. Who was getting down from there? Children, can you guess? The, the, the child and the, his, her mother. Yes, very correct. The child and her parents. Mother also, father also. They all, the whole family, they got down from the rickshaw and with an umbrella. The mother was still must be recovering from the surgery, no? So, mother, they were holding the umbrella for the mother and they came to the shop. They directly got down and they came to this uncle's shop. Okay, and then they stopped there and the child introduced the mother, the parents to the uncle, this uncle and told, Amma, I every day used to come to this uncle and I bought garlands from this shop only. I went to the temple and prayed for your good health. My neighbor auntie, no, that auntie only told, no, Amma, I told. So, auntie only told, go to the temple, put on garland to God and pray to God. Your Amma will become all right. And that is how I came to the shop. Uncle daily gave me garland. And she, you know, telling that she took from her own cloth bag was their children. And then she took a piggy bank. Children, you know what is piggy bank, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is that? It is more like uh, a small uh, one uh, which we can store our monies. Ah, where you save money. Isn't it? So, the final day you want to take the money, you just break it. Yes, you can break it if it is made of clay. Isn't it? So the child, though she did not come for two months, she never have forgotten. She owes them, owed the money to uncle. So she said, took the piggy bank out and told uncle, here is the money I have to give it to you. So all these days, whatever pocket money my father gave. Okay. And sometimes the, the people come to visit, no relatives, mama, atteis, chittis, mossies. Uh, everybody come to visit the mother, no? They'll always give some money to the children. So all that money also, I sa saved uncle. I never spent one rupee extra unnecessarily. I've never spent money. I saved all the money. Plus my school also, exams were over and it is a vacation period. And that is how I could save all the money which I have to give you. And my parents also, they wanted to meet you because I told about you how I came here, how you gave me the garland for a sometimes taking money and sometimes taking very less price. With your help, my mother has come back very safely. I will call you garland uncle from today onwards. And she thanked him and handed over the piggy bank to uncle. What do you think, um, children? If you were the Dandapani uncle, would you have taken the piggy bank money or no? And what do you think uncle has done? Uncle has uh, not taken it. Not, take. not, take. not taking. Why? But he has spent so much money, no? He felt sorry for the mother. Yeah. Okay. So, if you are that Tandapani uncle, you will also not take money? Yeah. Very good. Super. Well, well guessed and well told. So, the same thing happened. Uncle told, no problem. I'm very happy that you are back again in good health. And today, 
I am not giving you a small garland, which is only 20 rupees, but I will give you a big garland. This is from my side. I'm giving it to you. Please go to the temple and thank God and give put that garland to the God. And he also returned the piggy bank to the children. I mean, the child and said, child, this is for you. I don't want to take any money from you. Okay, so that is the end of the story and beginning of a good relationship. Yeah, uncle has got one more daughter in the form of the girl child and the girl has got one mama. Correct, no? No blood relation, right? But he prayed for her mother. He hasn't even seen the mother and she believed in God. She believed in Dandabani uncles. What? What she believed in Dandabani uncle? Why did she believe Dandabani uncle? Every time she, why she came to the same shop? Why didn't she go to the other shop even if she had money? But mm. she became uh, she became friends with she became friends with okay and, and, she, the, and the, um, the other man the uncle also gives it for only five rupees. only five rupees okay so that is the end of the girl she Diksha? was kind with the girl ah he was kind with the girl. Hmm? So that is the end of the story. So what is the name of the story I told? Faith never what? fails. Faith never fails. So who was faithful here? Dandapani uncle. Dandapani uncle? How? By why he as and he knows that the girl will definitely return the money. Okay. So hmm. that is the Faith of Dandabani uncle. What do you think, other children? Lithia, Katia, did you hear the story, Lithia? Yes. Ah, okay. What's your opinion on the story? Adarva, Sulla. Lithia is not talking. Adarva? Put it in the Kada. I like very much. Okay, why do you like the story very much? Because is this story is very faithful, trustworthy, mm. loyalty, loyal, yeah. mm, loyal, trustworthy. So many words. You are in first standard, no? Putti Adarva. Yeah. Yes, super. Very nice. Okay, Sri Hari has written something. Vedanti, did you like the story? Yes. Why do you? Why did you like? Because it had a happy ending. Happy ending. Okay. That's why you like. Good. Okay. What about uh, Sri Vidya? Sri Vidya. Pace. Nanna binadi irkadu. Pace. Cherry. Lithia, you want to say something? No. No, you don't want to? Okay. Sri Hari has written belief and trust in and loyalty to God. I found this meaning in Google. Okay, good. Okay, now we'll call uncle. Anything you want to tell uncle? Should he write more stories or no? Yes. 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 Why? Why? Because the stories he write are a little interesting. Mm. Based okay. on it's really learning full. We can learn. Okay. And it's also based on real stories. Based on real stories. Okay. Okay. Other one, the uncle Narya Kade is the Lama Vanama. Sudiksha, Niya Sule. Yes. Here is the Lama. Yeah, here is an uncle. Because his stories are very great. Right, very trustworthy. Very loudful. And uh, every story is uh, are like in the real, mm. and they are also in real life. Okay, that's why. Okay, superb, uncle. Any children in your guest list, uncle? All elders only.
any any of the guests want to talk tell something to the children or about the story hi i'm girja ramachandran hi uh, da das college mates 50 years back so um excellent narration samre selvi thank you um, a simple language and a very understandable language i think that children they would have enjoyed the story very much uh, and also learned the morals and values of the story congrats to you as well as to my friend das yes. <laughs> the author of the story <laughs> keep writing keep doing this service to the children because um, this young world uh, they need because they don't have time to listen to grandma story and grandpa stories so please keep doing congrats all the best thank you thank you thank you okay super துர்காதர் சார் நீங்க சொல்லுங்க உங்க கதையை ஒழுங்கா சொன்னேன்னா Uh, the, the crux of the whole uh, storytelling today as usual uh, i thought you may be narrating it in tamil you know i never knew that you are going to do it in english uh, because i had told uh, <clears throat> my people whom i uh, invited that uh, it might be in english, uh, tamil okay nevertheless of course um, i never thought uh, uh, i didn't have any small children to be invited uh, to listen to it because my grandchildren um, are having a different uh, uh, they are in a different time zone so they yeah. will not be able to enjoy this anyway um, this particular story when i published in uh, facebook and again reposted it sometime uh, recently also it was responded very well by so many people so those people who liked it uh, i again invited and uh, kirija who spoke just now um, she too has been working as a Uh, teacher for quite some time uh, and uh, i thought she will also like to hear it that is why i invited her uh, anyway thanks so much uh, i could get so much of a different dimension for my own story when you narrated it okay uh, i never thought of so many things uh, while you narrated it you put it uh, this way and that way and uh, gave a lot of very good dimensions mm-hmm. and uh, hats off to a great uh, storyteller the story is something which is the core uh, part of it but uh, you add up so many things to make it uh, much more uh, uh, you know better uh, to listen to and to understand uh, it is great uh, as a storyteller i really admire you once again thank you thank you thank you sir same to you yeah, yeah the the moment i read the story i think we heard the story in mastermind before but when Correct. i read the story again i felt like i was actually searching for a new author story this time St- truly speaking so many books i have so i was like some different author story i am looking for so i asked my friend uh, author kannikovil raja also <laughs> send me some different books then i read your story the moment i read it touched my heart again i thought i am going to tell the story to children because different audience here from different uh, cities or countries they join uh, i think two three are from singapore one from two three from chennai vedanti is in bangalore she is my colleague's daughter yeah so like this the common language uh, english only morning children story english so i wanted to put it across and want to see what do they think how do they receive and perceive the story so thank you so much and the little adarva is from udumalpet yeah? yeah like this different children different backgrounds different classes like this so very uh, well written. two three others who have joined are also my you know two are my niece uh, from delhi yeah, one from uh, priya yeah, priya priya, yeah. priya is from uh, dubai she oh, okay. was in singapore earlier and uh, jyoti is staying put in uh, delhi delhi okay. delhi yeah okay. about whom yeah priya is now uh, 
with the video so on now we go to dubai and delhi with our stories and all don't worry sir yeah yeah, yeah. priya is i think uh, has unmuted i don't know whether she is yeah. going to tell something. yeah yeah i have unmuted uh, good good yes it's one more thing for all you kids you know you don't pray only when you go through trouble you pray irrespective of trouble Otherwise, what will God think? Oh, you're coming only when you have trouble, uh, right? <laughs> so whether you're happy or sad, you pray. Okay? A lovely bunch of kids. Awesome. Thank you. Smile, children. Auntie is appreciating you. She is hearing a parent. Hey, Sri Vidya, you're going to have trouble. Listen here. Listen <laughs> here. Yes. It's amazing. Coming. It is fantastic because uh, Thank you. We, call, uh, uh, we call him Kunjappa. He is the last uncle. So he is yes. the. So for us, he's always done storytelling. Okay. Um, he's also tried to become Tarzan for us too when we were children. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember Kunjappa, but he's done that with us too. Our okay. grandfather was also a great storyteller. Okay. So we have been brought up hearing stories. So Jyoti will be able to add that as well. Ille Jo, Jo mute unmute pananani. She came and she left. I don't know. Okay. She's there. Yeah, she's, she's there. there. She's Sometimes there. on the phone it becomes difficult to unmute and um, yeah, I was not <laughs> figuring out how to do it. Yeah. Chu chu chu. Agree. Super, super. Okay. Children, are we ready for one story or are we ready for one puzzle? Puzzle. 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 Okay. I'll, I'll just stop the recording. The story is over for the day.